My name is Janelle Farias. I'm currently playing for LA Galaxy OC and I represent the women's Mexican national soccer team. I first started to play soccer or football uh, when I was four years old. My two older brothers used to play and my dad would coach them and I insisted on playing and they told me no because girls don't play soccer, right? This is like 25 years ago and I insisted, insisted and I cried and they tugged on my dad's pants and said, Dad, I want to play, I'm going to play and he put me in the game one day and since then I've been playing. Growing up, I used to look up to Mia Hamm and Cristiano Ronaldo. One thing that I can't live without, ooh, this is tough, but I would have to say chocolate. I am completely obsessed with chocolate. I love eating healthy and taking care of my body, but if there's one thing that I eat almost every single day, it's chocolate. Today's session was pretty dope. Um, I had a lot of fun. It's been a while since I've done a training like this. Uh, on the beach especially. My foot's a little bit red, but it was really cool. Mo is really creative with the stuff, which is cool. Uh, so I was excited and I was challenged a little bit, especially with the tennis ball, which was cool. I like being challenged. Other activities that I like to do outside of playing football is I like to hang out with my family, my nieces and nephews. They are everything to me. And I love to play pool. I'm a bit of a pool shark sometimes, so if you guys ever want to play, I'm down. Did I have a celebrity crush growing up? Hmm. I think growing up I didn't have a celebrity crush. It wasn't until I got a little bit older, like in my 20s, that I loved Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> and since then, just her. I mean, I've been giving, people have given me a lot of advice, I think, in all of my career growing up. Uh, but I think one of the biggest things that has stuck to me in the most recent years is connections with people are so important. So I always try to build bridges. And somebody told me that, build bridges, because you never know when you may need someone or something to help you or vice versa. I think it's so important. I think that's what, as humans, that's what we live by, that we live for, for connections, connections with people in any way. If I could give uh, youth soccer players advice, on how to go pro. I mean, there's so many different components to it, uh, but one of the main things, and this is something that I live, is you have to really, really believe in yourself and believe that you can do it. You have to see yourself doing it, visualize it, no matter what anybody tells you, because if you yourself don't see it and don't believe it, it's never gonna happen. So I've faced many challenges in my career. I'm, I'm 29 years old now, you know, so I've been through a lot. There's been multiple challenges, but if I could choose two, I would say um, one has been all of the injuries that I've been through. I've been through three, three major surgeries, right? So physically, it's, it's been hard, really, really hard. People have told me, oh, you won't ever play again, and, and I'm still playing uh, despite everything. And another challenge is like I went through a tough time when uh, my family didn't accept me for being who I am, and it took a lot of it took a lot of out of me emotionally. I suffered a lot mentally, uh, but I've been blessed and patient, and things have gotten better. And like I said earlier, what always helped me was believing in myself through all of these challenges. And thanks to that, uh, I'm here now. Where do I see myself in five years? In five years, I see myself. Um, being a sports anchor for a major, major live broadcasting television channel.